Watch you guys got another rogue removal video here for you. I've not done one of these for a while and this one's been requested by one of my channel members. He asked me can I make a video on how to remove live security platinum. Well the one I'm using is this one with a different type of shield compared to some of the others I've seen which are normally blue with a lighter blue stripe through them. This one's got like a, a blue and a yellow shield whether that makes any difference I don't know. Um, but we're going to be pretty much removing this one. It's pretty straightforward. I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the sample because without those guys, I can't make these videos for you. So let's uh, remove this uh, rogue from the system. Now uh, I'm going to continue unprotected here. And as you can see, pretty much it gives you the same old stuff warning messages on the bottom right hand side. You'll get little pop up boxes coming up. It disables everything from your system, i.e., task manager, um, command prompt try to run command prompt and it will block all those same as regedit and anything like that you can't run any applications from the desktop it does block them pretty much like all rogues really um, some of these run in safe mode some of them don't uh, this one I don't think it runs in safe mode with networking so that is probably the best way to remove that and if you want to get into safe mode with networking the instructions are on the screen right now okay so let's have a look at the registration part we're gonna get a license and show you exactly uh, what it looks like. This is how they con you. This is basically connecting to the outside of the internet um, and then obviously you'll pay for it which would be fake and uh, they'll rip you off by 69 uh, euros by the looks of it or 89 dollars which is pretty expensive really for something that's fake that's not going to do any good at all. Now we'll post up um, a code that you can use and all you need to do there to registration on that code you just activate, put the code in there and activate and the code is on the screen right now and hopefully that should do it for you as well if you wish to do it that way. Okay so let's have a look where it lives. Basically there's a little shortcut on the desktop. I can right click on this and click properties and I can see that it's in programs data on the Windows 7 machine. Um, so we're going to remove that from the system and now there's a way of removing that. It's pretty straightforward as I said we're going to use Internet Explorer so hopefully you've not removed Internet Explorer from your system and uh, what we're going to do here is just open up Internet Explorer and uh, I'm going to go into and get Process Explorer here so I'm going to type in live.sysinternals.com forward slash p-r-o-c-e-x-p.exe Okay, and once I've done that, I'm going to push enter. Now we're going to ignore the warning here. So let me just close this off, get more boxes popping up. So we're going to ignore the warning, and then you should get your download. Okay, so it's trying to stop it, but if you just ignore that message, it will actually allow the download to come down. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to put this onto my desktop, let this come down. Okay, that's down now. We can now close off the uh, browser. And the first thing I need to do here is rename this file because it won't run. If you try to click on it, it won't run. So what we're going to do is type iExplore.exe. So we're just going to rename that. Now, if you can't see the .exe on the end, you need to change your file uh, up here. So you go to My Computer, go Organize file and search options and then view and then you show hidden files and folders if you want and also hide extensions you want to take the tick out of this one okay and this will allow you to see the file extension like that so now when we click on this we should have our program running so I'll just bring this to one side and there you can see the actual file that's running this is the actual culprit okay now once we right click on this and then we can kill process or you can suspend it but we're going to kill this one like so it's now killed I'm going to go straight into my computer here and then C drive and then program data and there's the actual file there I'm going to delete this file now there you go so that's now gone 
Now the thing I would advise you to do from now on is running malware bytes to clean off any remnants left behind. Now obviously we can tidy this up a little bit ourselves manually but I would uh, always do some updates. And then just run a quick scan just to make sure there's nothing on the system. Okay, so that's now the scan now finished, and as you can see, it's found some remnants left behind here, some registry keys, and as you can see, we're just going to remove those. On the system. Now I'm not going to reboot, but you should reboot at this stage. And once you've done that, I've took the liberty of downloading some other programs that you should be running. Um, TDSS Killer, which is also another good tool to run, just to make sure there's no other rootkits on the system. And then also I would run Hitman Pro as well. And while that's running the scan, you want to quickly check for proxies on the system and uh, you can do that by coming up to here if you can't see the actual menu system there let me just uh, I don't use Explorer just gonna put the menu bar in I'm gonna ch check internet options just to make sure there is no uh, proxies on the system And there isn't, and that's where you want it to be. You don't want nothing inside these boxes here. And it can be the same for um, Firefox as well. You can go into Firefox and check Firefox for your proxies. And inside Firefox, I'm going to come over to the advanced here on network. And uh, let's have a look here. And you want to make sure there's no proxy set on there, okay? And that's pretty much it for this video. That one's all cleaned up, pretty straightforward. But I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. If you've got any requests for videos, just like this guy did, then send me a message and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.